شو هالصندوق الجديم يدو وليش حاطت هنا في الصالة؟ هي يا حصة يا الغالية لو تعرفين الذكريات الحلوة في هالصندوق هذا الراديو يا عيالي ما سمعتوا فيه؟ طبعا انتوا جي الانترنت لكن الاصل في هالصندوق يدو سمعت عنه خبرين يدو بشو يذكرك الراديو هذا؟ ايه ذكريات عز الفخر ذكرى تاسيس الاتحاد ابونا الشيخ زايد الله يرحمه واخوانا المسسين في هذا اليوم الخميس الموافق اليوم الثاني من شهر ديسمبر سنة 1971 ميلادي وفي إمارة دبي تم في هذا الاجتماع انتخاب صاحب السمو الشيخ زايد بن سلطان آل نهيان حاكم إمارة أبو ظبي رئيسا لدولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة ترى أحلى ذكريات عمرنا فهذا اللي يسمونه صندوق أول مرة استغربنا كيف الصوت يطلع منه؟ بعدين عرفنا سر موجات الراديو اللي قربت الناس من بعيد وخلتهم كلهم شعبيه وحده. بس اليوم دولتنا متطوره وايد في الاتصالات. ايه الحمد لله وين اليوم وين البارحه؟ ترى شيوخنا من زمان عرفوا ان الاتصالات تطور، تعليم، صحه، مستقبل افضل لعيالنا. عشان شي دولتنا انضمت للاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات بعد اشهر قليله من تاسيسها. صح كلامك، عيان كذي احنا اليوم من افضل الدول في شبكة الاتصالات. نقول الحمد لله يا عيالي. الحمد لله نعمة الامارات، ترى اليوم بلدنا يمتلك شبكة من افضل شبكات الاتصال في العالم، والموجات الرادوية توصل لاماكن ما توصلها الالياف الضوئية، مثل وسط الصحاري والبحار، فتنقذ التايهين في البر والعالقين بالبحر، والامارات اليوم تشارك العالم هالرحلة الملهمة. وتستضيف العالم على أرضنا الطيبة في المؤتمر العالمي للاتصالات الرادوية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سمو الشيخ أحمد بن محمد بن راشد آل مكتوم النائب الثاني لحاكم دبي رئيس مجلس دبي للإعلام سعادة دورين بوغدان مارتن الأمين العام للاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات أصحاب السعادة رؤساء وأعضاء الوفود الأفاضل حضورنا الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ونرحب بكم على أرض دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة في افتتاح المؤتمر العالمي للاتصالات الراديوية WRC 23 نبدأ حفل الافتتاح هذا بكلمة دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة يلقيها سعادة المهندس ماجد سلطان المسمار مدير عام هيئة تنظيم الاتصالات والحكومة الرقمية فلنرحب به جميعا سمو الشيخ أحمد بن محمد بن راشد المكتوم النائب الثاني لحاكم دبي رئيس مجلس دبي للإعلام معالي السيدة دورين بوغدن مارتن الأمين العام للاتحاد والاتصالات أصحاب المعالي والسعادة رؤساء وأعضاء الوفود الأفاضل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يأتي انعقاد المؤتمر العالمي للاتصالات الراديوية في دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة على بعد أيام من احتفالاتنا باليوم الوطني الثاني والخمسين ليجدد تذكيرنا بالعلاقة التاريخية والوثيقة بين دولة الإمارات والاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات والتي تعود إلى أشهر قليلة بعد تأسيس الدولة لم يكن ذلك القرار إلا تعبيرا عن رؤية رؤية استشرافية من قيادة الدولة لأهمية قطاع الاتصالات في بناء الحاضر والمستقبل وفي إرساء دعائم التنمية المستدامة للإنسانية جمعاء وهي التوجهات نفسها التي نعمل وفقها اليوم مع رؤية وطنية أكثر طموحا تحمل اسم نحن الإمارات 2031 وتهدف إلى تحقيق المجتمع الأكثر ازدهارا وترسيخ مكانة الدولة كمركز عالمي للاقتصاد الجديد وتعزيز دور الإمارات بوصفها الداعم الأبرز للتعاون الدولي وإنشاء المنظومة الأكثر ريادة وتفوقا عالميا لقد كانت دولة الإمارات على الدوام 
تضع أهمية استثنائية لقطاع الاتصالات والمعلومات وتجلى هذا الاهتمام بالعلاقة الوثيقة مع الاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات حيث أن دولة الإمارات باستضافتها لهذا المؤتمر اليوم تصبح هي الدولة الوحيدة في العالم التي استضافت كافة الفعاليات والمؤتمرات المهمة للاتحاد ونحن ماضون في هذه العلاقة انطلاقا من قناعتنا بأن المستقبل هو للتنمية المستندة إلى التقنيات الرقمية الحضور الكريم بينما يزخر عالم اليوم بالكثير من التحديات يأتي هذا المؤتمر ليضبط المسار ويوجه البوصلة نحو التنمية الإنسانية المستدامة عبر تحديث لوائح الراديو وإقامة التوافقات الدولية حول الترددات اللازمة للحقبة القادمة بما تحمله من آفاق رحبة في مجال المدن الذكية والاقتصاد الرقمي ومجتمع المعرفة والفضاء وغيرها إننا على ثقة بأن مؤتمركم هذا سيحقق النتائج التي تلبي مطالب وتطلعات شعوبنا أرجو لكم التوفيق والنجاح في نقاشاتكم ومفاوضاتكم ولا يفوتني أن أتقدم بالشكر الجزيل لكل من قام على تنظيم وإدارة هذا المؤتمر سواء من جانب الاتحاد والاتصالات أو من الجانب الإماراتي والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الشكر الجزيل لسعادة المهندس ماجد سلطان المسمار على هذه الكلمة الطيبة والمرحبة يسرنا الآن حضورنا كريم دعوة سعادة دوريم بوغدان مارتن الأمين العام للاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات لإلقاء كلمة الاتحاد فلتتفضل مشكورة His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, second deputy ruler of Dubai and chairman of the Dubai Media Council. His Excellency Tala Humaid Belhul, chairman of the Telecommunications and Digital Government Regulatory Authority. His Excellency Majed Al Mazmar, director general of TDRA. His Excellency Mohammed Al Ramzi, Deputy Director General of TDRA and Chair Designate of WRC 23. His Excellency Mohammed Al Zaruni, Deputy Director General of TDRA and Dean of the WRC 23. Mr. Mario Manjevic, Director of the ITU Radio Communications Bureau. Mr. Sezo Anoy, Director of the Telecommunication Standardization Bureau. Mr. Cosmos Zavazava, Director of the Telecommunications Development Bureau. ITU colleagues, friends, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. It's my honor to welcome you to the 2023 World Radio Communications Conference. It's my first as ITU Secretary General. This is a special moment after four intensive years of preparation, including in the face of a global pandemic. We have gone through a lot together. We've addressed challenges head on and we have emerged stronger. And the times are once again calling for unity. Unity in a world in turmoil, including in the crisis happening in Gaza and Israel, where we have seen a staggering and unacceptable number of civilian casualties. It's a moment to remember what brings us together as one human family. What we cherish most, starting with our children, especially today on World Children's Day. It's a moment to reaffirm the importance of telecommunications for the preservation of peace enshrined in the ITU Constitution. But most of all, 
It's a moment for us to pause, and it's a moment for us to honor those that have been lost. I would like you to uh, join me in a moment of silence for all the innocent civilian victims in the crisis in Gaza and Israel and around the world wherever peace is threatened. Please rise. I thank you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment where we have an opportunity to show that we stand together, that we're here to build a better future together. And to do this, we have to harness the potential of radio technology and radio services from terrestrial to space-based communications to the fullest. This potential is enormous. Game-changing digital solutions rely on these radio communication services and can accelerate progress in climate action, in education, in hunger, in poverty, and 70% of all the sustainable development goal targets. This is within grasp. A better future is possible. And that's why I've seen so much hope, so much hope placed in digital since I took office at the beginning of this year. It's the hope that we're witnessing among new spacefaring nations when 40% of the SDGs rely on Earth observation and global navigation satellite systems. It's the 5G rollout when it's estimated that this technology will add almost one trillion US dollars to the global economy by 2030. It's the amateur radio operators who were able to send damage reports in the middle, in this epicenter of an earthquake when all other communication channels were down. It's the girls that I met in Victoria Falls when we celebrated girls and ICT day earlier this year whose dreams depend on a STEM education. It's the refugee camp that I visited recently where there was no signal, but there was so much hope for digital. It's the environmental scientists and meteorologists who are using Earth observation data for climate monitoring and weather prediction in an effort to better understand our planet. These people come from different countries, from all walks of life. But they have one thing in common, the significant role played by radio frequency spectrum and associated satellite orbits in their lives, often without them ever realizing it. I think we need to keep three things in mind during this conference. First, these finite natural resources are the building blocks of an advanced global communications. They are the heart, they are the core of our digital society. And they're increasingly in demand. As the global digital economy continues to expand, every single radio service is competing for spectrum to support new and existing applications, skyrocketing user numbers, and exploding network traffic. Second, sharing. Sharing those resources equitably for all of humanity requires international coordination and stewardship. That's what brings us here today. And it's where the radio regulations come into play. These regulations offer stable and predictable environments for regulators while accommodating new and innovative technologies that users want. And that brings me to my third point, consensus. Consensus is more important than ever before. And you demonstrated that last week when we concluded the radio communications assembly. Of course, balancing the needs of 193 member states is no mean feat, but you did it. You did it last week, and I think we will do it again at the WRC.
The entire WRC process is a testament to the power of collaboration in setting high goals and being able to follow through on them. Delegates, we've talked about the how, how to have a robust and reliable global communication system, how to prevent harmful interference, how to address the challenges of the digital world, no matter how quickly it evolves or how complex it might get. But the why is equally important. It relates to our two strategic goals, universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation. Universal connectivity because today, one third of humanity is still offline. And if we want to build a better digital future, we can't do it without them. And sustainable digital transformation because we need to lead by example. We must lead by example. And that's why I was so excited last week at the radio assembly when we adopted a new resolution on space sustainability. I think it was a real milestone in answering the call of the Bucharest Plenipotentiary Conference. That's why I was also glad to see energy efficiency and environmental sustainability part of the specifications for IMT 2030-6G. It's also why ITU will have a strong presence at COP28 when we roll out our green digital action track. Before I conclude, I want to thank our incredible host, the United Arab Emirates, for welcoming us once again in Dubai, one of the world's leading innovation and technology hubs. WRC 23, as His Excellency has just mentioned, um, it's, it's the sixth major ITU conference in, in Dubai, and, and I've actually been to all of them. Uh, I was even here for the very first one and organized it, which was the Global Symposium for Regulators back in 2007. Some of you will also remember that it's the second time that the UAE is actually chairing a WRC. The UAE actually chaired the WRC in 2012. UAE is a handful of countries that has a space program. It was the first country to actually have an AI minister. And it's all part of the WE, the UAE 2031. This year with COP28, the UAE is hosting not one, but two major UN conferences at the same time. It's a testament of UAE's role on the world stage as we're about to celebrate your national day on the 2nd of December. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at an inflection point, an inflection point in tech history. All around us, technologies are poised to transform the way that we do just about everything. Radio communications are at the top of the global agenda, and these are no ordinary times. But then, the ITU is no ordinary organization. In the lead up to next year's UN Summit of the Future, we have an important role to play in helping to shape a better digital future. And let's not pit technology against sustainable development. The case is clear, we need both. Let's choose universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation the strong mandate that ITU member states gave us. But most of all, let's build a digital future that works for everyone and for our planet. Equitably managed spectrum and satellite orbits are among the best tools in our toolbox to make good on this commitment. And achieving this will profoundly impact the lives of millions and it will take us one step closer to connecting the unconnected. Outside the doors of this very conference center, we can see the Museum of the Future. The Museum of the Future shows a journey that takes us to 2071, 
Reimagining the future, as the museum describes, begins with opening to new possibilities to shape today's world for a better tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, what we do next, what we do together, will matter for generations to come. I thank you very much. Shukran. شكرنا الجزيل لسعادة الأمين العام للاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات والآن مع هدية تذكارية تقدمها دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة إلى الاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات بمناسبة عقاد هذا المؤتمر يقدمها عن دولة الإمارات سمو الشيخ أحمد بن محمد بن راشد المكتوم النائب الثاني لحاكم دبي رئيس مجلس دبي للإعلام ويستلمها عن الاتحاد سعادة دورين بوغدان مارتن الأمين العام للاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات شكرنا موصول لسمو الشيخ أحمد بن محمد بن راشد المكتوم النائب الثاني لحكم دبي رئيس مجلس دبي للإعلام على تشريفه لنا حفل افتتاح المؤتمر العالمي للاتصالات الراديوية WRC 23 نرجو من حضورنا الكريم البقاء في مقاعدهم حيث سنستكمل القسم الثاني من حدثنا لهذا اليوم إذا أصحاب المعالي والسعادة حفلنا الكريم نستأنف الآن احتفالنا بكلمة السيد ماريو مانيفيتش مدير مكتب قطاع الاتصالات الراديوية فليتفضل مشكورا ونرحب به جميعا أيضا His Excellency Talah Humayid Belul Chairman of the Telecommunications and Digital Government Regulatory Authority, TDRA. His Excellency Majed Sultan Al Mesmar, Director General of TDRA. His Excellency Mohammed Al Ramsi, Deputy Director General of TDRA and Chair Designate of WRC 23. His Excellency Mohammed Al Zaruni, Deputy Director General of TDRA and Dean of the WRC 23. Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, Secretary General of the ITU, fellow elected officials, excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my turn now to welcome you to the World Radio Communication Conference of 2023. We are delighted that the WRC 23 is being held here in Dubai, and we are very grateful for the generous hospitality of the United Arab Emirates in hosting one of ITU's largest and most important conferences. Distinguished delegates, the ground upon which we stand today is a ground of visionary leaders. Since its foundation, the UAE has undergone an incredible transformation. Independent Emirates have united to form a nation with one of the highest GDP per capita in the world. What were once coastal towns adjacent to sandy deserts were transformed into thriving cities with iconic skylines. This historic trading center has harnessed the advantages of the country's natural resources and the innovative strategy of the government to expand its infrastructure and diversify its economy. Today, the UAE and other nations worldwide are once again concluding a four-year journey to study and then revise the radio regulations in a manner that will support the introduction of new wireless technologies and their growing spectrum requirements, while continuing to protect the vital radio services we rely on today. Newer innovative technologies will allow us to better monitor our changing planet and better connect communities and people everywhere, on land, at sea, in the air, and in space. About 14 radio communication services, both terrestrial and space, are on the agenda of this conference. Ladies and gentlemen, a new era of satellite systems has begun. Supporting space exploration, space tourism, commercialization of space, broadband applications on land, ships, and planes, satellite IoT, 
space research, remote sensing and observation, intersatellite links, and even, even lunar and interplanetary communications. Whether it is enhancing agriculture, bolstering national security, advancing radio astronomy, or increasing industrial efficiency, the space economy is flourishing. Six decades ago, during the extraordinary administrative radio communication conference of 1963, the ITU member states negotiated the first international rules and allocated radio frequencies for use in space. Subsequent WRCs and RRCs have enhanced that regulatory framework and increased the amount of spectrum allocated to space services. Here today in 2023, the ITU is called upon again to update its international regulatory framework in response to the increasingly complex ecosystem of LEO, MEO, and GEO satellites. As the opportunities in space seem immense and the future looks promising, only an appropriate balance between the efficient and equitable use of radio frequency spectrum and satellite orbital resources for the various space services can safeguard access to space for all. Furthermore, as we embark on new frontiers, whether on the moon, Mars, or other celestial bodies, we must also strive to ensure that we don't leave anyone behind here on Earth. Dear colleagues, in recent years, significant progress has been made to reach affordable, meaningful, and universal connectivity. However, despite the growing awareness of broadband's vital role for people and businesses, 2.6 billion people continue to lack access to the internet. WRC 23 will consider mobile services and applications that can provide affordable and widespread communication access to everyone and everything. These include agenda items related to IMT identification, which might be among the most challenging ones of the conference due to the impact of the future of existing system, such as those used by aeronautical, maritime broadcasting, satellite, and science services. The ITU member states will also consider accommodating high-altitude IMT base stations operating on stratospheric platforms, the so-called HIBs. This promising technology could be a cost-effective solution to extend broadband delivery to remote and underserved areas. In keeping with tradition, the WRC 23 will examine advice wireless applications to improve connectivity and safety of aviation and maritime transport, which is one of the main pillars of the global economy. As we appreciate the advances in both space and terrestrial radio technologies, there is a visible trend of convergence and interaction between both services. Broadband delivery through mobile, broadcasting, satellite networks, or direct satellite to phone communications are just a few examples of this trend. These developments also bring us to the necessity to carefully examine and agree on the agenda of the next conference, WRC 27, to respond to the most important advances in the radio communication industry and the challenges it is facing. Dear delegates, it is impossible to overlook the fact that COP28 is occurring simultaneously with WRC 23. Climate change has become a pressing reality and we must confront it. In fact, July of 2023 marked the hottest month ever recorded in human history serving as an alarming call to the urgency of addressing climate-related challenges. ITU plays a pivotal role in developing regulations and standards that influence how we monitor the environment. Radio communication technologies are instrumental for imaging and remote sensing, providing researchers with crucial data on various environmental factors, such as the temperature, sea level, precipitation, deforestation, and greenhouse gas emissions. These insights are invaluable in our ongoing efforts to understand the dynamics and impacts of climate change. Dear friends, after four years of technical studies, extensive working party and study group meetings, as well as regional and national discussions, we are convening at the World Radio Communication Conference on 2023, which is being held on schedule, despite the limitations imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. I am most proud of this community that did not let this challenge deter us from meeting our objectives and timeline for convening this important quadriennial conference. During this WRC 23, we bear the responsibility of updating the radio regulations, the 157-year-old legally binding international treaty that governs humanity's use of this limited national resource 
the radio frequency spectrum, whether on Earth or anywhere in space. To achieve this, we have as a starting point the contributions to WRC 23, which encompass different regional and national proposals. We also have the views of many international organizations that have been provided to inform deliberations. Now, we must rise to the occasion and find common ground. I count on the spirit of cooperation of the ITU membership and their thoughtful consideration of the various regulatory solutions proposed to pave the way for introducing new radio applications while adequately protecting the incumbent services. These objectives, together with the increased harmonization of frequency bands for the various services and applications, remain key for the successful resolution of the agenda items of the conference. I trust your technical expertise, your wisdom, and our shared objective of developing regulations that go beyond immediate individual interest or temporary advantages and leave a legacy of prosperity for billions of people across the globe. To the delegates entrusted with the regulation of the radio spectrum, inspired by a country of visionaries and by the spirit of tolerance embodied by the people of the United Arab Emirates, I invite you to honor this international endeavor and make WRC a resounding success. Thank you very much. Shukran li Sayyid Mario Malevich ala hadhi al kalima. والآن حضور الكريم مع رسالة الأمم المتحدة يلقيها بالنيابة عن معالي أنطونيو غوتيرش أمين عام الأمم المتحدة السيد ماكسيميليان جاكوبسون غونزاليس مدير اتصال أول الاتحاد الدولي للاتصالات فلنرحب به جميعا It is now my honor to deliver a message to you from the United Nations Secretary General for the World Radio Communication Conference. I am pleased to greet the World Radio Communication Conference. Your gathering is a testament to the power of international cooperation in tackling global challenges. Radio frequencies, whether on Earth or in space, form the backbone of advanced communication for all humanity. From education to healthcare, from agriculture to climate monitoring, expanding radio communication services and bridging the digital divide are key to reducing inequalities and advancing the sustainable development goals. The radio spectrum is a finite resource. We must use it efficiently and equitably with inclusive global coordination to prevent harmful interference. The World Radio Communication Conference provides an opportunity to foster collaboration between governments, the private sector, regional telecom organizations, researchers and academia to promote fair and stable regulation, which is the foundation for investment and innovation that leaves no one behind. That is also the spirit of next year's Summit of the Future, to advance the responsible and sustainable use of technologies, including satellites, and ensure that vital commons, like outer space, are preserved for future generations. Your contribution here can help transform how we communicate and connect in the years ahead. Let us share the radio spectrum wisely and help build a sustainable future for all. شكرنا الجزيل وموصول إلى السيد ماكسيميليان جاكوبسون غونزاليس على هذه الكلمة والآن حضورنا كريم لدينا دعوتان لكم قبل الختام الأولى هي دعوة موجهة لكم إلى مأدبة الغداء المقامة على شرف ضيوف دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة أما الثانية هي دعوة لكم لحفل العشاء المصاحب فعاليات المؤتمر العالمي للاتصالات الراديوية المقام اليوم مساء في تمام الساعة السابعة في عين دبي في مطعم زيرو جرافيتي بهذا ينتهي حفل افتتاحنا مع تمنياتنا لكم جميعا بالنجاح والتوفيق في أعمال المؤتمر العالمي للاتصالات الراديوية WRC 23 والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته